Okay guys, welcome back to the channel and another episode on the Land Rover. So it's been a while since I've done something on the Land Rover and I know you're all itching to see what's going on with the Land Rover. So I haven't been doing much with it, but today I'm gonna do something, I don't know, a little bit pointless maybe, but it should be quite fun. So uh, before I finished the restoration of the Land Rover, I got the, uh, the Wolf Race uh, rims with the, with the, which tires are they called? the Wrangler Goodyear or Goodyear Wrangler tyres and I fitted them before the project was finished so before I did the bonnet, before I did the safari roof and so on so they've been on there for quite some time but what I've never done is tried the old original rims on the car, on the Land Rover uh, since having finished the project so that is exactly what we're going to do today so I hope you enjoy it so the first thing we've got to do is uh, disconnect the trickle charger which I've had, had running for about two or three weeks now I uh, should have really had it running over the winter but it, uh, I didn't um, so I'm gonna disconnect that and then I've got to see whether I can actually get the wheels out because they are underneath the shelving at the back there but the Porsche engine is quite close to it so I will um, I've got to check whether I can get them out Okay, let's see if we can get those wheels out now. Okay, so you can see what I'm contending with here. Um, I had to remove all of the stuff that I put on the Porsche off again because of the issues of I, I've had with the paint. This is the engine. Uh, the wheels are nice and snug. We'll get out of the way. Underneath there. And there's not a huge amount of space between the engine and the uh, shelving, but I think there's going to be enough. So um, I'm going to struggle for about 10 minutes uh, trying to get those out and I'll film it while I do it. Okay. So. They've been under here. Well, since I put the shelving up actually, which was quite a while ago. And this is the Porsche bonnet. So obviously, oh bloody no, I'm gonna have to move that. First one, anyway. I don't know how you pronounce that. Syme or Sim? Syme Compass. Syme Compass or Compass. Oh dear. Oh, and we've got a flickering light as well. Syme Compass 750 16 ply rating. So they're a cross ply tyre made in Malaysia. Alrighty. God knows when. Probably a million years ago. Anyway. That is the first of four. Ooh. Okay, so that didn't take too long actually. Um, and here they are, so let me have a look. They are, well, how different are they all? Hmm, okay, so actually here, there are three of the same tread. I think, or very similar tread. God, I don't know. Maybe this is maybe this is the same as that, but just worn down. But these two I had on the front at the time. They were balanced back then, and not really been used much. This here, this is completely black. This one, which is a bit annoying because I thought I'd painted them all, but uh, this one's black and was obviously the spare I used. Um, and. Yeah, I'm gonna to have to swap it out actually with this one here um, because this is white and I don't want one black one. So that is, or they are all four tires in all their glory. 
and uh, ex you know you have to excuse me if I'm pronouncing this incorrectly, but Syme Compass, um, and as I showed you before, so that is two of them. Let me put that over here, and the other one is an Avon Ranger Mark II HS Nylon. Uh, tube type, so they've got tubes in there, 75016, and I have no idea when they were made. Uh, max load uh, on a single is 1,000 kilograms, 950 on dual. Um, what are they saying here? Oh, not much more. As I say, I run mine at 35 PSI. I don't know about you guys, whether you do the same. Somewhere here, there's probably a date which I can't see or work out, maybe maybe something like that, or I don't know, maybe that. Who knows, but anyway, that, oh, there's, they're quite badly, they're not in great condition, that's for sure. Let's put it that way. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, I'm probably gonna have to back this out actually, so I'm doing this outside, and then I'm gonna swap them over. They're obviously all flat, so I'll have to pump them up. doors open great gusts come in here and send the send bits and bobs flying and the plastic and the paper so but there it is it's too nice a day to have the the roller shutter closed so given the cost of petrol I'm gonna push it outside in fact the idea today is once I've got these tires on uh, I'm going to take the Land Rover back into Dresden and uh, my daughter and I are going to go for a, a little drive around town with it. So that is the idea of today. Okay. Okay, so the 750s are obviously the same height as the 235 uh, 85R16s. There they are. For those of you who asked me about my tyres, let's get my own shadow out of the way. They are the Goodyear Wrangler 23585R16s. And if I put this up against it, then you can see more or less that obviously the Goodyear are way, way wider um, and the, uh, the Symes, <laughs> if they're called Symes, um, I always used to say Sim, but anyway, there we are, a much narrower, which I quite actually like when I'm, when I'm driving, uh, especially in the snow, it seems to be better with a narrower tire, sort of cuts through the snow a bit better, but anyway, they're both fine. So I think now we need to give them a bit of a clean up, uh, check the pressures and uh, fit them to the car. Okay, so obviously I'm not gonna to go too mad on cleaning them up uh, because the paint underneath isn't that brilliant. So this is the one I 
think. No, wait. I think that's the one I took off the bonnet because it's the cleanest and probably the best, best one that I've got. Um, that one, I know it's the only one I've got in that pattern. So when I brought it over here, before I got these wolf rims, uh, these two were on the back and the two uh, were on the front. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do the pressures, put that one back on the bonnet and then put them on the car. Okay, so I'm going to put these up to 35 psi, I reckon, and one of them has got a dust cap. Okay, so all up to pressure. I actually did them to 32 PSI, not 35. Um, maybe you guys can tell me what you run yours at. Um, but let's do a leak test here. Ho, 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 ho. Mm, that valve, look at that, leaking. That's not so cool, so Maybe we won't do much of a long run on this. <laughs> Wonder how. Let's have a look. Yep, leaking. Excellent start. That's the spare, so it doesn't matter. Let's have a look at this one. This one looks terrible. And that one isn't leaking. Okay. Look here. Focus not leaking either and this one that's not leaking either so we've got one here which is leaking which is a bit of a shame because that's my front tire let's have a look it doesn't seem to be leaking too bad but is uh, yeah well it is that's that's leaking quite badly Oh well.
So, that is the Land Rover back on its original rims. Losing air swiftly, I do believe, but it's very cool to see it back on its, back on the rims that, uh, that I brought it over here with. And interestingly, since, you see, one of the things that I, I, I never cleaned up was the old rims. So they have, that, <laughs> the clean I just gave them, which was a very rudimentary clean, uh, it's the first clean they've had in Christ, you know, over 20 years. Um, and they were just full of cobwebs and so on. So out of the five wheels, two are losing air, which is this front one and the one on the top. Uh, but the others are holding air perfectly fine. So here we are. What do you think? I think it looks really cool. So the offset is slightly different they sit further into the body but that doesn't bother me at all i think it looks brilliant and i'm wondering actually i think they're faded over the years because that color is different to that color yeah i like that very cool indeed the tread is still excellent on these tires. <laughs> Looks like I've not done any work on it at all. It's so tatty. So I've got two tires of the same tread on the front of the car. So that was a completely pointless exercise, but quite good fun. Uh, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna tidy up and I'm gonna go for a drive. Okay, so I'm gonna go down into Dresden now and see how we get on. Hopefully that, uh, that front tire holds air. I just checked it and it was down from 32 to 30 PSI. So, and I've been working on it for about an hour, a bit less maybe, so that's all right. I've got a pump at home, so if need be, I'll just have to pump it back up. But anyway, wish me luck. Okay guys, so first impressions are that the steering is a lot lighter and I knew that was gonna be the case. 
um, because the tyres are so much thinner. But, but apart from that, there's not much difference at all. Um, this road surface is very good, so I'm guessing I'm not going to pick up many, many bumps. In fact, it weaves quite a lot over the road. That's maybe different. Maybe the uh, tracking is out uh, still, which is something I still need to get done. But otherwise, it's pretty quiet, you know. It's fine. Like I said, it weaves a little bit. But yeah, so let's see how we get on. Okay, okay so I just thought I'd stop at the car wash here. I'm not going to give it a complete blast or even go through the car wash because it'll just leak like a sieve. Um, but I'm just going to give the wheel wells a bit of a clean up. Um, because, as you remember, I went off-roading some time ago, about a year ago, and uh, it's a bit of a mess in there. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Finished. Well, that was quite fun. First time I've ever taken the Land Rover to the uh, uh, car wash and used the jet wash on it. So I used the uh, jet wash, as you saw there, just to give the rims a bit of a clean up and get underneath here and give all that a bit of a clean up too. I didn't want to go too mad on it because, um, well, yeah, it might end up, I don't know, taking the paint off. In fact, it has taken the paint off there. Look at that. Dang it. Oh, and also, didn't quite get all the muck out. But that's fine. Looks pretty good. Yep. So I did the cross member at the back as well and underneath a little bit. Okay guys, so I'm gonna leave the video there and you'll have to let me know what you think, whether you prefer the wolf rims or the original uh, rims like this. I must admit I really prefer the uh, the original rims. It just is far more in keeping with the era of the car But um, yeah, let me know what you think. Anyway uh, Hope you enjoy the video and um, Yeah, I'll speak to you very soon. See you later